him of your hood. We're going to fear him. We're going to obey him. We're going to do the things that he tells us what to do. We're going to line up with his word. We're going to line up with his truth. And we're not going to have what a problem with it. I give him the thanks. I give him the glory. I thank you that for the, uh, I'm thankful for that wonderful word. We're going to go to uh, Mac Maccabeum Reverie 5 today. And it's on page 1469. And today's subject is torture for not accepting the accursed things. Torture for not accepting the accursed things. And see, you know, people are going to be under a lot of pressure to uh, change from their religion, to deny, to denounce Yahuwah, Hamaseah. They're going to want you to uh, do things that uh, goes against Torah in order to save your life. And they're going to do all sorts of things, you know, to make us get out of the will, to try to make us get out of the will. Yahuwah Elohim. And so therefore we got to make sure that we have a well made up mind that our hearts are right, that our hearts are Kadash and strongly rooted in Yahuwah Hamaseh, that we're putting our trust and faith in Him and not in ourselves. Amen. You know, we're not going to worry about what to say in the hour when they come for us. We're not going to worry about what to say in that time and that hour. What we do is going to trust in Yahuwah and the Riyak HaKadosh is going to give us what, what to say in that hour and what to do in that hour. And we got to have our mind set on Him first. We got to first become subject and obedient to Him. And the time to start doing that is right wow. now. Amen. Right now. Hallelujah. Okay, it's on page uh, 1469. And it'll be chapter 5, Maccabeum, Rivii, chapter 5. And I thank you for his word and for his truth. Yahuwah Ham said, we're coming before you to say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to get all things right with you. Thank you for giving us a a love for your word and your truth, Yahuwah. A love for you. Thank you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, Yahuwah. For if you didn't love us, where would we be? Thank you for loving your creation and the things that you have done to us to show us that you love us, Yahuwah. Help us to love you back, Yahuwah. Help us that we serve you, that you won't be angry with us. That you be well pleased with us, that you be tell us well done, my true and faithful servant. Help us to live that life. And we know the only way that we can live that life is if you come in and dwell in it, in us and let and you live the life for us, that we totally surrender to you. Help us to surrender to you, you who yes. while our heart, mind and soul, not holding back from our surrendering, but trusting you for all things, you who because you are magnificent, you are wonderful, yes. you are trustworthy, you are righteous, you are most kadash. And we thank you for being an example, giving us an example of how we should live, how we should walk coming down here on the earth and teaching us what to do, what to say, and then leaving a word with us, your kadash word. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. And help us to guard your commandments, your sayings, of all our heart, mind, and sight. Yes. So, we thank you, and we praise you. And we ask you right now, please, let us de decrease, and you increase in us, Yahuwah. And give us the understanding that we need, Yahuwah. Teach us your way. And we thank you, Yahuwah. In the Kadash name of Yeshua, I'm going to say it. We do say Amen. Amen. And Amen. Maccabeum Rivii 5. It says, The tyrant Anarchus, therefore sitting in public state with his 
ancestors upon a certain lofty place with his armed troops standing in a circle around him commanded his spear bearers to seize every one of the Ivyam, those are the Hebrews that he was seizing, and to compel them to taste swine's flesh and things offered to idols. Now we know the scriptures that told us not to, at the beginning told us not to eat swine, not to uh, eat things offered to idols and stuff like that, but we also know that the scriptures told us now that it's not what we eat that defiles us, but the things that come out of us that defiles us. And so it's all right to eat pork, but back then it was not all right for them to eat pork. It was not all right for them to eat swine's meat. And a lot of people today will go to the argument and say that it's still not all right for you to eat swine's meat. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to argue that point with you, but I know what the scriptures say. And I'm not going to condemn anybody for eating pork, and I'm not going to condemn anybody who does not eat pork. I'm in. Amen. The Word is what the Word says and what the Word speaks to us. But the thing is, if a thing is a curse to you, and I don't care if it is, if you say that, if you, if, if, we, if you say that eating pork is a curse to you, and that's what you believe, you cannot eat no pork. Because that's your belief. And for you to do otherwise, it will become a curse to you. Now the scriptures tell us that, you know, what's a curse in the scriptures? What's a curse in the word? And those are the things that we cannot do. Are you going to try to make those that are saying that they're Kadash? You're going to make those that are Kadash ones? You're going to make them try to wear pants? You know, do that. That's a choice. That's a form. You know. So you gotta stand on the word. I don't care how light or how small you might think it is, you cannot do we cannot do anything that goes against scripture, that goes against the the word. You're gonna try to make people not keep the Shabbat. And we know that the Shabbat is right and that is keeping Sunday is a pagan day. That the first keeping the first day is paganism. You know, most of us know that. They keep the Shabbat. They understand Torah. A lot of people say it does not make any difference what day that you keep, but it does, it, it does make a difference Amen. to Yahuwah. It makes a difference to Yahushua HaMaseya. Amen. Yeah. And we know that the church of the Catholics, they'll go up there, whatever goes against Torah, that's what they accept. What Torah says, they go against it. And we find out that there's a lot of the churches that are drinking the same poisonous wine that whatever they say, they go against Torah. Whatever Torah says, whatever the Bible says, they go against it. Mm -hmm. And they want to change the minds of the people and have the people go against Torah. And this is what the evil tyrants that are getting ready to come here today, this day, these in these times, in these end times, are going to be doing. They're going to make us try to make us go against Torah, against the Word, and we got to make sure that we're steadfast, that we're standing strong on Torah, in the Word, trusting in Yahuwah with what yeah. all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul, being completely obedient to Him. The time to start being completely obedient to Yahuwah is right now, yeah. right now. Yes. You know, we got to put ourselves into practice and see, and when we find ourselves being disobedient to them in this form, shape, or fashion, we need to go up there and say, I repent and get it right, right then. Not wait until later on to do it, but do it when, right now, when it first, when it first comes into your knowledge, when it first comes to your understanding that you are doing something that is wrong, that you're doing something that is a curse. You need to repent right then and there. I don't care where you at. Amen. When it comes, if it hits you in the middle of the night, repent right then and there and get yes. it right. Amen. Amen. If you're on your job or uh, wherever, you're in school, wherever you may be, repent right then and there. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
And I don't care who here, if you, if you repent out loud, then repent out loud. Don't be ashamed of repenting. But get your sin under what the blood. Get it under the blood. Get your soul set under the blood. Amen. Amen. But we want to make sure that we're serving Yahuwah, I'm saying, with all our heart, all our mind, all, all our strength, all our substance. Amen. Amen. He says, Number two, And should any of them be unwilling to eat the accursed food, they were to be tortured on the wheel and so killed. Okay. They're going to want to kill you. You know, because you won't do what they say. You won't bow down to them. You won't come off a Torah. You won't come off the word of your Elohim. Okay. And we got to be steadfast that we will not come off the word of Elohim. It's better for us to be killed by man than to be thrown into that burning hell by you. Amen. Amen. Yes. We're going against this torture. You know, I don't care how bad the torture may be. Remember, we're not going to be alone. Yahushua is going to be right there with us. Yes. He said, I will not forsake you. He will ease our pain. He won't put more on us than we can bear. He has already given us his word on that. But we got to go through. We're going to have to go through. Please, I'm begging, get out of that notion that you're going to be, when the time of trouble comes, that you're going to be lifted up, that you're going to be raptured up. You're not going to be raptured up. You're coming... One time, and that's the last time he's coming, and that's it. He's not coming back a second, I mean a third and fourth time. One time. Amen. And that's it, people. Come back one more time. Amen. And we better be ready for him when he comes. We better be found doing what he has told us to do in his commandments, in his statutes, and in his word. Yes. We're going to be found doing exactly as he said. Yes, you know, we got to get look in this mirror, call it the Torah, call it the Bible, and make sure that we're lining up with it, line by line, precept upon precept. And if we find ourselves anywhere in this Torah, not lining up with it, we need to repent right then and there and ask Yahushua to get, help us to get it right with it. To come in and cleanse us of it. Help me. Help me. You know, don't worry about who's hearing you or who's not hearing you. The only thing we got to worry about who's not hearing you, we want to make sure that your hood is hearing us. Okay? That's what I'm going to be concerned about. That's what we need to be concerned about. And when many, number three, and when many had been seized, a foremost man of the assembly, an Aaron, his name Eliza, a priest by family, by profession a lawyer, and advanced in years, and for this reason known to many of the king's followers, was brought near to him, and after us, seeing him, said, I will counsel you, old man, before your tortures begin to taste the swine's flesh and save your life. Father, I feel respect for your age and gray head, which since you have had so long, he appeared to me to be no philosopher and retain the superstitions of the Yehuda. See, notice that this Antichrist, this ruler, he wanted to call the laws and commandments of 
Yahuwah superstitious things that they will look nothing. But see, we got to understand what they are. Yes. That these are life unto us. Yes. That these are the very words written and spoken by Yahuwah. And we cannot, we cannot afford to take these words lightly. That we must live these words. I come so important that we get in our heart, our mind, that we got to live this word. That we got to become this word. Yes. That there's nothing more important than us being coming obedient to Yahuwah, to the Torah. Nothing more important. I don't care. Mama, daddy, job, whatever not, is not more important than becoming subject and obedient to the word. I remember I was under uh, someone and they were telling me, you know, he was supposed to be a religious leader and they were telling me, and at the time I didn't have a job and stuff like that and I, and I couldn't get a job and I wouldn't work because most of them because they wanted me to work with Shabbat and I would turn them down. And he was trying to tell me, oh, it's all right. And he's supposed to be a Shabbat keeper. But he was trying to tell me that it was all right for me to go up there and take a job and work the Shabbat. Because Yahuwah would understand that I need to work. That I need to work. I told him I wasn't working the Shabbat. I understand that Yahuwah told me not to work the Shabbat. Amen. Come on, Chief Apostle. See. Because these devils would tell you anything. Because it was a devil. I didn't realize it at the time because I respected him as being what? A child of Elohim. I didn't see him as a devil. My understanding of the word was not strong enough at that time to see him as a devil. But I want, you to, I want you to understand, I don't care who it is, they can be chief apostles, they can be apostles, they can be ministers, they can be an uh, 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 angel, they can be Gabriel himself, come down, if anybody, come down here and tells you that it's all right to go against the word of Torah, then they are a curse. Amen. They are a curse. Amen. It is not all right to go against the word of Elohim. Hallelujah. You don't go against the word. And I know for a fact, I believe with all my heart that Gabriel will not come down, the angel will not come down and tell you to go against Elohim's word. But I said, but if he did. If he did. If he did. Mm -hmm. Don't listen. Don't listen. Amen. Don't listen. Hallelujah. Don't listen. Amen. I don't care who it is. And for some reason, I get crazy, I get afraid, I get uh, 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 stupid. Because what it would be, and I tell you it's all right to go against the word of Elohim, you listen. don't listen to me. Hallelujah. Don't listen to me. I tell you right now, don't listen to me. Amen. Don't worry about if I get insulted. You got to be concerned about your, soul. It, about your soul and then who you will be insulting if you go against oh, his word, if you go against Torah. Hallelujah. Don't pay attention to man. This is what I'm trying to convey to you. When he's trying to tell you to go against the word of Elohim. And tell what it is. Amen. 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 That's what I'm trying to tell you, even about the swine meat. I know that what he says, he says that it doesn't make any difference what we eat. I know he says that. Uh -huh. He says it's what comes out of us, what defiles us. Amen. But if you see that, hey, you still feel that you can't eat swine meat, don't you can't eat pork, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious, don't eat it. Amen. See, I can eat it. It's not going to bother me. But if you eat it, it's going to be go against your conscience. It's going to go against your heart. Because you're going to think that you're eating something that's a curse. So you can't eat it. Amen. Let me tell you.
Yeah, I'm telling you look, that you can, but you don't have to be in agreement with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, number six, he says, For wherefore, since nature hath conferred upon you the most excellent flesh of this animal, do you loathe it? It seems senseless not to enjoy what is pleasant, yet not disgraceful. And from notions of sinfulness to reject the boons of nature. And you will be acting, I think, still more sensibly if you follow vain conceits mm -hmm. about the truth. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, you're going to be acting if you follow vain concepts about the truth. So we got to understand that we got to follow truth, truth no matter what. We got to obey truth. We got to obey the word. Mm -hmm. We got to hear the word. We got to know what the word says. That's why it's so important that we study the scriptures, that we study Torah, that we're praying to Elohim to what to lead us and to guide us, and that He Himself teach us so that we don't go uh, uh, leaning upon our own understanding. I can't lean upon my own understanding. I have to trust you. Who I have to ask Him. You teach me. You help me. You know. Uh, I was telling you, I've been telling you who, uh, him something about the days, some days I don't understand, some things I don't understand about the calendar, I don't understand it, I'm trying to get understanding. It might be simple, it might be simple to you, you might see it immediately, you might get understanding immediately, but for me, I don't have it. And it bothers me and it concerns me because I'm, I'm praying to him to what to teach me to open up my understanding. I'm not gonna go up there and act like I understand something and I don't understand it. I need clarity. I need clarity. See, and that's what each of us needs to be asking for is clarity of His Word. Yes. And ask for clarity. For our personal self, I need, hey, tell I need clarity of your word. If it's something that is being taught in Torah, in the word, that you don't understand, ask for clarity. Ask your hood to come in and teach you, to give you clarity. He's going to do it. Hallelujah. There's no doubt in my mind that he's going to give me clarity on the word. He's not going to let me walk around here confused mm -hmm. and in darkness. No, no. He's not going to do that. But why? Because he's Elohim. He wants me to have clarity. But I have to seek Him. I have to seek His face. I have to seek Him what, from my heart. I have to ask Him. I have to let Him know. I don't, he knows I don't understand. He already knows this. But I have to ask Him to teach me that He give me the clarity, His understanding from His perspective. Not my own. He's not going to let me go up there and play tic-tac-toe and see any meeny miny mo, Pick a tiger by his toe and all that type of stuff. He's going to give me a direct understanding. He's going to give me clarity. And he'll do each and every one of us clarity if we ask for it, if we seek his face. If we seek for understanding, if we seek truth. He's going to give us truth. Why? Because that's his nature. That's who he is. He is Elohim of all truth. Not partial truth, oh. but all truth. He's not going to give us a half a piece of cloth to cover our loins and let us walk half naked. He's going to give us a whole, loin, a whole cloth for we'll be covered. He's not a partial Elohim. Amen. Thank you, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. He says, Verse nine. Thank you. Verse 9. And you will, moreover, be despising me to your own punishment. 
Oh, he's taking this, this anarchist is taking it, you know, like, hey, you're going to be despised me if you, if you will go up there and set punishment. Well, it's better for, you know, to let a person, for you, for that, for that person to think that you despise them than for Elohim, for us to despise Elohim. To reject man than Elohim. Reject man. Than Elohim. He said, who should we obey? It's better for us to obey Elohim than it is for us to obey man. Amen. Amen. That's the word. See, I don't know about anybody else, but I've got to obey Elohim. I don't have to obey man. Hallelujah. You know, if you despise me, if you hate me, because I speak the truth and I stand on the word of Elohim, so be it. I don't care who you are. You can be mama, you can be daddy, you can be child, you can be son, daughter, whatever not. You can be wife. Come on. You can be anybody. Come on. Okay? If you despise me for standing on the word of Elohim, then so be it. So be it. Amen. Amen. God, I have no other choice but to stand and tell you what thus says Elohim. I the truth. The truth. Because I got to become more and more. We all have to become more and more like Elohim. Yes. We all have to be. Amen. We have to stand on truth. Yes. We have to be true. Oh, yeah. We have to look true. Yes. Look like truth. We have to walk true. Yes. We have to be true. Yes. In every area, oh, in every aspect of our lives. Oh, we got to be kadash. In every and which way. Yes. I don't care. If it turns upside down, we could die. If it turns sideways, we could die. Yes. If it stands upright, we could die. Yes. Um, if it stands on our nose, we could die. Yes. I don't care what how way it turns or flippers, we are still coming down where it could die. Yes. They say if you throw a cat up in the air, I don't care how high you throw him up, you drop him, he's gonna always land on his feet. Well, we better always land on being what Kadash yes. as being Kadashians. Yes. We always got to be Kadash. Amen. Amen. He says, Will you not awake from your trifling philosophy and give up the folly of your notions and regain understanding worthy of your age Search into the truth of an expedient course. He calls the word, notice he insults Torah. He calls it trifling. And see, a lot of people go up there and they insult Torah by calling it trifling. I don't have to obey. It does not have any account. It does not have any meaning. It was for them back then. It's for us right now. The words of Torah, the words of Elohim are not trifling in no form and in no fashion. No. Oh. We better understand that we got to take Torah to heart. That's got to become very dear unto us. His words are not trifling. These words that are in this Torah are not trifling in any form or fashion. Hallelujah. I don't care who speaks what or says what? Oh, you don't have to do all of that. It doesn't take all of that. Those are fools speaking. Foolish men, foolish women that says that you don't. Have, it does not take all of this. It does not take all of this work. It does not take all of talk. Those are foolish things to say. They try to take the place of Elohim. They try to act like they're Elohim. When you say, it doesn't take all this work. If Yahuwah has already given us a commandment, if he's already take, told us what we need to do, who are we to say that it does not take all of this to do it? Oh, Elohim says you got to do it all. But, oh, man said we don't have to do it, y'all. We ain't got to do it. Are you foolish? Who has 
beguiled you, foolish person? Huh? Who has misled you? Who has bewitched you? Huh? Oh, foolish person. Huh? Did you believe that you don't have to obey Torah? There's nobody but Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number nine, 11, it says, and referencing my kindly admonition, have pity upon your own years. For bear in mind that if there be any power which watches over this faith of yours, it will pardon you for all transgression of the Torah which you commit through what compulsion. See how he's lying? How he's trying to deceive? And this is what's going to come about now. In these days. That somebody's going to try to deceive you. <coughs> if you're what? Going against Torah. Say, isn't it foolishness? That, oh, you won't put on a pair of pants? Isn't it foolishness that you won't let your hair grow long as a male? Isn't it foolishness that you keep the Shabbat? Isn't it foolishness that you won't celebrate Christmas or your birthdays or these holidays that we have, you won't celebrate them? Huh? Come on. See. I once was foolish. I once was stupid. I once did these things. Amen. But Yahuwah has revealed his truth unto me. And what did I have to do when he revealed the truth to me? When he opened up my eyes, I had Amen. saw, and so therefore I could not deny. I had to what? Obey. I had to obey. I had to repent. Of my foolish ways. Yes, you know, you know. See, I have to make sure that I'm a pleasing vessel unto you, who shall have yes. say it. I want to please him. Yes, yes. I want to walk in his statutes and his commands, oh, obey him. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I can't be followers of men. You got, you got people talking about, oh, they want to make America great again. America can never be great again because it refuses to accept Yahuwah. Amen. It turns back on Yahushua Hamasai. Amen. How can it become great again? Okay. And it has went up there and accepted the devil's play field, playground. Huh? It's one of them said that it's all right to kill innocent babies that have not been born. It's all right, abortion is acceptable. Yeah. It's going on. It's going around saying that it's all right for males and males to cohabitate together, and females and females to cohabitate together as man and wife, going against all that Torah has said. That it's all right for. If you put on a uniform and call yourself an officer of the law, it's all right for you to go up there and to beat upon and to kill innocent people that had no way of harming you, that did not put your life in danger, but it's all right for you to kill them because the color of their skin happened to be different. Or their thought or their philosophy happen to be different than yours. How can America be great again? And it's going against Torah. Okay. America is on a downfall along with the rest of this world. It's ready for destruction. Because the world has accepted the same ideology 
of evil and wickedness. They are on the same pattern of agreement. Amen. They are all of one accord now. Evil and wicked and greedy and filthy. They all have what? Their love of money. Love of money. He says, number 14, excuse me, number 13. While the tyrant excited him in this manner to the eating of swine flesh, which is against the Torah, Elias begged permission to speak. So now the priest began to speak. He wants to speak. He wants to stand on the word. But Antichrist was thinking that, hey, oh, I brought him. I got him. So I'm going to let him speak. That's so. See. See, but you're going to see that Elijah is a man of Torah. He's a man of Elohim. He's going to what? Stand on the word. He's going to stand on the truth. Yes. 14. And having received power to speak. And he received power to speak who? See this, this is the power of the, the, the Ahakadosh. That in that hour, in that time, he's going to give us what? Power. Power to speak. What to say. He said, okay, here we go now. He began thus to deliver himself. We, O Antichrist, who are persuaded that we live under a divine, no, divine, most good gosh, in other words, Torah. Mm -hmm. Consider no compulsion to, so, to be so forcible as obedience to that Torah. See, we got to make sure that we feel absolutely positively that we want to sit there and what? Obey Torah with all our heart, all our mind, and all our soul. And we get to what? Obey Torah. Amen. Wherefore, we consider that we ought not in any point to transgress the Torah. Hallelujah. We don't want to transgress the Torah. Amen. We don't want to transgress the word of Elohim. Amen. We want to ensure that we sit up there, that we're standing on the word of Torah, doing all that we can Amen. to keep all of Torah in our heart, mind, yes. and soul being completely what obedient, obedient to it. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. He says, and indeed, what? Our Torah, as you suppose, not truly divine, and if we wrongly think it divine, we should have no right, even in that case, to destroy our sense of the faith. He said, even if you were right, we couldn't destroy our faith. Amen. Because we believed it. I got my trust in it. Mm -hmm. You know. And see, we gotta have it in our mind that hey, no matter what nobody says, no matter what anybody does or is trying to do to us, that we're gonna hold faith, that we're gonna be a faithful people unto Torah, unto the Word, yes. unto His truth. Thank you, Yehuda. He says, number eighteen. Think not eating the unclean, then a trifling offense. And whatever they're trying to make us go again, it's not going to be trifling to it. I don't care what it is. Whatever, if it goes against Torah, if it goes against this word, if it goes against the truth, we got to make sure that we're standing yes. on the truth. Then we're not going to go back against it. Yeah. Whatever our understanding is, that we must keep the truth. Yes. What Torah says. 
You know, I said, well, I want you to have church on, 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 on Sunday. I want you to make Sunday your, 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 your Shabbat. I can't do it. Amen. I can't do it. Amen. Amen. Can't go against the Torah. Amen. I used to try to make, you know, make it uh, acceptable in my mind that, okay, then, I know people are having church on Sunday. I know they, they, they're worshiping Him on Sunday. And I, I want to go there and I said, well, I can go there and be part of them, with them and celebrate. But I will be celebrating a lot. I'm going against the Torah. Because okay. the Torah, he said that the seventh day is the Shabbat, it's the Sabbath day. Yes, I can't go around treating Sunday like it's a, a Shabbat. Amen. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I, I'm, you know, I thought that, you know, we came out of not, you know, having service on Sunday. I thought it was for the reason that we wouldn't let people have some rest. We were taking up there all weekend. You know, as long as they keep the Shabbat, you know, it was fine. We're giving that other day. But it's more than that. You can't just keep Sunday as a Shabbat also. That's right. Not confusing the people. Amen. They don't know that the seventh day, it's the Shabbat. It's the Shabbat. Okay. Starting at 6 o'clock on Friday evening. Mm -hmm. And ending at 6 o'clock Saturday evening. That's right. That is the Shabbat. Amen. That's the seven day Sabbath. Amen. And I must observe it with all my heart, all my mind, all my soul. <laughs> Amen. Got coming to what? Full truth of all of Torah. Not just some of it. Wow. That also means I can't go out there and be a liar, a thief, a luster, a homosexual, a fornicator, a daughter. I can't do any of those things. No wicked. I can't be a wicked person, can't be an evil person. Amen. I got to obey Torah. I got to love everybody. Yes. I don't have to like you, but I got to love you. Got to love you. Amen. He says, He said, For transgression of the Torah, whether it's small or great matters, is of equal moment. For in either case, the Torah is equally slighted. But you deride our philosophy as though we live irrationally in it. You try to act like because we serve, the, in other words, he was telling as the, you act like because we serve the living and true Elohim that we're deranged. Mm -hmm. That because we put our trust in Elohim, in Yahushua Hamas said, that we are deranged. That we're the ones that are crazy. That we're the ones that don't have any sense. That's right. It is you, Elohim, and you that, do, that are not believers of other him that are insane. Amen. That are crazy. See, we gotta understand who we are. He says, yet it instructs us in temperance so that we are superior to all pleasures and lusts and it exercises us in manliness so that we cheerfully undergo every grievances. And it instructs us in justice so that in all our dealings we render what is due. And it teaches us piety so that we worship the one only Elohim Become Amen. See, this is what Torah teaches us. Yes, it does. It teaches us respect. It teaches us love. Yes, all of them. It teaches us how to be men and women of Elohim. It teaches us how to be Kavel's warriors 
Abdullah Hill. Not coward soldiers. Backing down just because a man wants to go up there and kill us. We don't have to get out of line. We don't have to curse. We don't have to go up there and be like him. Amen. But then we can stand strong in the world. Yes. And let you know that, hey, we put our trust in Torah. We put our trust in Elohim. Yes. Our faith is in Elohim. Amen. We can stand firm on our faith and in our love of Elohim because we know that he loves us. Yes. This is what we can do. And this is what we must do. Hallelujah. For the time is coming when it will be put to what? A test. Yes. 24. Wherefore, it is that we eat not the unclean for believing that the Torah was established by Elohim. We are convinced that the creator of the world and given his Torah sympathize with our nature. Those things which are convenient to our souls, he has directed us to eat. But those things which are repugnant to them, he has what? Interdicted. In other words, those things that are bad for us, he don't want us to do it. He already knows what's good for us and he already knows what's bad for us. Because what? He has what? Designed this body. Yes. We're made in his image. See. We didn't make Elohim. Elohim created and made us. Yes, he did. And so he knows exactly what's good for us. Yes, he does. And he's wrote, written the Torah to explain to us so that it's our instruction book to life. Yes. That if we will live by Torah, if we will live by this word, that we can have life and have it what? More, More abundantly. abundantly. Live in Torah. He says, but tired people like you not only force us to break the Torah, but also to eat, that you may ridicule us as we thus profanely eat. See, you, we're supposed to be your entertainment. You want to make fun of us. And that's what the people are going to want to do today. That their power is over us. Your power is not over us. Amen. Our power is in Elohim. Yes. And we stand with Elohim. Your power is not over Elohim. And as long as we stand with Elohim, your power is not over us. Amen. Have to have a well made up mind. A well made up mind. See, come, you can't force nobody to. So they, people have to see this for yourself. You have to love Tor, you have to love Elohim for yourself. Exactly. Can't nobody make you love Elohim. No. You have to love him for yourself. You have to taste of his goodness and love him for yourself. Thank you, Yahuwah. Yes, yes. He says, But you shall not have this cause of laughter against me. See, he made it personal. You're not gonna have this. You're not gonna be able to kill me. Cause I'm not gonna eat it. You just have to kill me. See, and that's what we have to say about this word, the entire Torah. You are not gonna have the power over me. You gonna have to just go and kill me, cause I'm not gonna go against Torah. I'm not gonna go against what it says. Oh man, I already made it up in my mind. I'm already asking you who to help me to, to stand in that time, in that moment, when that moment comes. He says, 
nor will I transgress the sacred oath of my forefathers to guard the Torah. He said, I'm not going to even, not only are you not going to force me to eat swine meat, but I'm not going to go against anything, in other words, that Torah has said. I'm going to guard Torah. I'm going to guard everything that is said. Whatever he says not to do, I'm not going to do it. Whatever thing he says to do, I'm going to do. I'm going to give him the praise. I'm going to glorify his name. I am going to live a God's life. I'm not going to even be upset with you. I'm going to love you and tell you the truth, whether you accept it or not. But I have no other choices because I'm a believer of Torah. I'm a believer and truster of Elohim. He says, number 29, No, not if you pluck out my eyes and consume my entrails. I am not so old and void of manliness, but that my rational powers are youthful in defense of my faith. Yes. No matter what. No matter what happens to me, I'm going to stay. No matter what happens, no matter what you decide to do, no matter how you decide to torture me, I know I still got to stand. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, call it an yes. Well, I'm talking about uh, having a well made up mind, having a heart firmly rooted in the word of Elohim. We got to be firmly rooted in Torah if we are able to survive the tortures that these people are going to want to place on the people of Elohim. That's what you stand, people. Yeah. Say, well, if the crowd ain't doing it, I can't do it. I got to be with a crowd. I got to help it. Well, you know, the crowd ain't going to stand. You want the crowd, I want Elohim. I got to have Elohim. I don't need a crowd. I don't have to have a bunch of people around me. No, sir. I need Elohim around me. Hallelujah. I get in talk with Elohim all day long. Don't, hey, it's all right. I had to talk to another person. I listen to him. He'll talk to me. And I'm thankful. He says, Now then, number 31, prepare your wheels and kindle a fiercer flame. Make your flames hotter. Prepare your will. Come on, I'm ready to get up there on your torture rack. I'm ready for you to go up here and burn me. I'm ready for you to pluck out my eyes. I'm ready for you to go up there and do whatever painful or uh, 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 wicked thing that's in your, your evil and wicked mind that you can conceive. Then you go ahead on and do it. But as for me and my house, I am with Elohim. I will guard his commandments. I will guard his Torah. I will obey it. No matter what. No matter what. I got to live. Hallelujah. He says, I will not so compassionate my old age as on my account to break the Torah of my country. I will not belie you, O Torah, my instructor, or forsake you, O beloved temperance. I will not put you in shame, O philosopher, reason, or deny you, O honor, priesthood, 
and science of the Torah. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to keep Torah. I'm going to keep the word. I'm going to live this word. Can't let nothing, and I mean absolutely positively nothing, derail us from obeying Torah. We cannot let nothing derail us from, uh, from obedience to Elohim. Nothing. We got to be Torah at all times. We got to be Hadash at all times. He says, mouth, you shall not pollute my old age, nor the full statue of a perfect life. My father shall receive me pure, not having quailed before your compulsion through though unto death. He said, I'm not going to change, even to death. I made up my mind. I know it's going to cost me my life. This life. But see, you have an expectation of rising again. In order to be able to give up this life, you got to know that you're going to rise again. That Yahuwah, Yahushua Hama said, is capable of getting us up, rising again, saying, Rise, my child. Rise up, my child. Rise up. Waking up. Wake up. Or death has been conquered. I have the keys to death and hell. The shield. We can look at Elohim, you sure how Elohim, you sure how Messiah, and know that he has conquered death because he has risen. And we know that. When Simon Kiefer and the Conan went up into the mountain with him, and they were crying out about Moshe and Elijah, that Yahushua told them that they understand that he's not what the God, he's not the Elohim of the dead, but of the living. We live in Elohim. We live in him. Number 37. For over the wicked you shall tyrannize, but you shall not lord it over my thoughts about the faith, either by your arguments or through deeds. He said, your arguments cannot win me over, nor do your deeds win me over. You're not going to change me from being obedient to God. Now we better have that same faith. We better have that same like mindedness that we're not going to allow anything to change us from being obedient to God. Thank you. I know we have said something this evening that will help us to make it into the kingdom if we would just obey Torah and live and make it into the kingdom people. Things are going to change. And things are going to change rapidly. Yes. yes. We need to be what ready. We need to be prepared for it. Yes. Some going to happen in our lifetime. And some might happen a little bit later. But it's coming. And it's coming sooner than most people expect or think. Be ready, people. This has been Yasha Yashari. Homestead Community. We're located at 4935 U.S. Highway 84, Frisco City, Alabama, 36445. We invite you to attend services with us. We have services at the beginning of the Shabbat, Friday evening, 6 p.m. Then we also have service on Sabbath day, Saturday morning at 11 a.m. If you care to call us, you may call us at 251-593-3671 or 
three. If you care to email us, you may email Apostle Carrie Ghostin, Carrie Ghostin. Her email address is Ghostin, Pastor Carrie at gmail.com. Again, that's Ghostin, Pastor Carrie at gmail.com. If you care to email me, I am Chief Apostle Norman Ghostin. My email address is Yahushaman1 at gmail.com. It's Yahushaman1 at gmail.com. Also, we want you to have what Bible studies. Have Bible studies in your home. Somebody leads you in Bible studies. We ask, have prayer, and ask you who to come in and teach you His Word, His truth. Let Him guide you in all of His truth. He'll do such. Also, we ask you to pray with us. We have prayer at 6 and 9 p.m. every evening. If it will, we have prayer at 6 and 9 p.m. I also would like you to know that we do have the that's what's up. No, okay. okay, we also like you to know that we have the uh, PGJCM or just Yasha Yashari, excuse me, Yasha Yashari discount casket store and the Yasha Yashari Green Burial Cemetery. Uh, they're located 4935 U.S. Highway 84. We ask that you give us a call, make an appointment, and we can give you more detail uh, on the cost of everything. The cost still for a green burial cemetery starts off at uh, $777, but you need to call, make an appointment, and for that you can be ready uh, at that time uh, when you know what to do. And then when you and the, when your loved one goes to sleep, you know exactly what to do. But give us a call. 251-593-8336. We want you to be group. We love you. And hopefully we'll see you in this house. Fill it up. And who's your name? We just said it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.